Welcome back everybody. Senior's got the door open to the old shop. That means he's gonna try and run a snowmobile. So he's been working on this skidoo for a while. What year is this one? 1972. What is the model again? Nordic. Nordic. A 440. And you've had this one pretty much completely down, right? Totally went through the engine. Uh, still has the old track, had to do some work with the muffler, overhauled the carburetor, all new seals, bearings in the uh, drive axle and the back axle. Was this one of them that had the stuck engine when you got it? Had stuck engine, totally yeah. froze up. Uh, what happened, I think the guy, there was a Union Carbide sticker on here for synthetic oil. My experience back in the 70s with synthetic oil. They set over the summer, they froze up, and I have never in my life tore a two-cycle Rotax down that was froze up as tight as this one was. I had to virtually beat the pistons out of it. Because it was actually like brown rusty all down the piston skirts well, and everything, wasn't it? Black. Yeah. Black, crusty, rings were froze in. He had the fuel tank out of that, out of it, did a little bit of work to out. that. You said the speedometer cable is still good though, right? Well. I ran this about two minutes, yeah, about two weeks ago. And as you can see, I got the track elevated. Yep. And it's probably a good thing because this thing revved probably about a thousand RPM right off the bat. Oh, really? <laughs> so anyway, it needs a little bit of a carburetor adjustment first. I'm not sure. 4166 on the odometer. Not sure. Like say, running Tilson carburetor. Yep. High speed adjustment, low speed. That's the only adjustments to this. If you got a good working carburetor, it should hold gas up into the filter. Up simply. to the filter on the bottom right there, yeah. If it don't, I got a little primer bottle, I give her a little shot of gas and we should be able to take off with her. So. Well, should we see what happens with it? Let's see what happens. Yeah, we're gonna give her a little shot of good I stuff can see there. some gas starting through the lines, but yeah. it's not quite primed up yet. Yeah, we'll give her a little shot to help her out. Equipped with power block clutch, high performance. We're going to give it straight at the source here. That should make it pop anyway. It should. Sometimes take two, three times. plugs in her. I put the old ones in, but I got a new set I can do with her. New plugs. Then we'll, we'll do a round two. See what happens. The way it's popping back sounds like a plug in them. Right down to one cylinder now, so. All right, had a couple really old Bosch plugs in it. You got the old Bosch numbers on, so two new ones. Two new plugs and some carb adjustments. I think it's getting there. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more gas in. There isn't much. Um, then we'll give her a test drive. See what happens. Sounds good. Okay, everybody. It's actually a few days later. The test drive didn't go too well. Like it was starving for fuel, right? Right. Yeah. It's definitely uh, a fuel delivery issue. Yeah. So you found something. 
Well, I'll tell you. I'll kind of give you a little demonstration of what I found here. Um, I went through the carburetor again, found no other issues. This is just an example carburetor yeah. here. Went through that, test drove, same issue, starving fuel. So I started going a little deeper. I took the manifold off the engine. And that's this, what the carburetor attaches to, This right? is what the carburetor, this is a smaller, this is off a of 399, definitely Rotax is big, the 440 is bigger. But what I found is this piece goes to the cylinders. And there's a, um, a pulse line that comes from a, off the bottom of the cylinder right here. That little hole. That little hole that operates the fuel pump in the carburetor, the fuel pump diaphragm, which is this right there. Yep. You can see basically these are little check valves, you could say, but they're just little flappers. So anyway, what I found out was the root of all evil here is silicone. Mm -hmm. And the way we harp on using too much, <laughs> I don't care how good you are or how much you've done, it's going to bite you once in a while. Yeah. So what I found is this passage was about two-thirds of the way plugged with silicone. And that was your fuel starving And that was issue. enough striction of the pulse air to uh, give me issues and would operate the fuel pump diaphragm. And why I had silicone there is these gaskets will go in and they seat in on a groove. And I usually put just a couple dabs of silicone in just to hold them in place till I get them fastened down. Well, <laughs> sure enough, I kind of went around here, got a little too much, squeezed out and covered that hole up. So, so we're ready for round two today then. Yeah, this, uh, it's been about a week since it's run. We'll do another cold start and see if it runs again. That's all we can do. It should be better this time though. Well, it is better because after I got everything fixed, I did test run. I uh, did a preliminary adjustment on the carburetor, but right now we're just going to do the cold start and yep. see uh, if we're pumping gas like we should. Should probably watch here. You'll see if we're pumping gas. You should see it. You can see it in the line, yeah. Coming out on the return line there. Yeah, we can see it already. Odometer works. Yeah. Okay, I think. Uh, try a run with it. Try a little run with it, test drive, and see how it goes. All right, do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right, thumbnail shot. Snowmobiles work, look at that. There we go. Gets a little bit deep out here. That's hard. What? Oh yeah, that'll work. Hard to tell the 20s even on a rock pile today. All right. I have not been down there. There, we gotta get you. Down lower is more dramatic, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get one more, just for good measure. That'll be good like that. Thumbs up or something. All right. Yeah, we go check out the sign. Yeah. There's Mr. Rock Crusher. That handle sticking up is my disc. The other one's completely under the snow. There's the plows. Just see the land lever sticking up. There is so much snow over here yet. Man, I don't think we're gonna do much over here until May this year.
what do you think? Run good? It runs pretty good. And you might be taking it to the swap meet to sell, maybe, in yeah, April? That's a very good possibility. Down in Lesseur? I'm going to take her back in the shop, do a little more tuning up and monkeying with her a little, but for the most part, seems to run good. Fun times. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yep.